I think about all of the tears I've cried. But today, five years ago, a chimney collapsed on me and I actually died. My heart stopped for two minutes as I laid there with a broken neck. Breathing tubes, a feeding tube, on a ventilator, I was a wreck. It could have been the last time I saw my friends, family, and Jack, the love of my life. The pain throughout my whole body felt like I was being stabbed by a knife. Bedtime in the ICU, darkness, pain, dreading being turned every couple of hours, constant beeping, vivid nightmares, staring at dead flowers. Where's my mom? I can't move, I can't speak, I'm so cold. Begging to stand up for a minute, I'm told, sorry, no, it's time to be rolled. Excruciating neck pain, and what was wrong with my shoulder? Every day I forgot what happened to me, my mom realized we shouldn't have told her. Leaving the ICU and heading to rehab, my mom finally got to wash the blood out of my hair. I couldn't wait to get off the vent to talk and breathe my own air. I wouldn't have made it through without my mom and my brother, I'm so freaking thankful for them and many others. Almost four months of rehab and finally it's over. Trying to understand this life, my head was spinning. Next, my mom and I moved into a new apartment in Boston and realized this was only the beginning. Six months go by and I'm back at college to finish my senior year. No one thought I would do it, but after graduation, I knew I would persevere. Three years and eight more surgeries later, I'm so glad I remained positive and didn't let my bad days take over. My two English Bulldogs got me through all of my toughest days. They have helped me through this physical and emotional maze. The old me is gone and the grief, well, that's hard to get over. It feels like you're at your own funeral, but without any closure. I lost a lot of friends in the process, but the new friends and disability community were worth it. Although my disability has changed me, it has made me appreciate all of the small things bit by bit. So please, don't take anything for granted. You never know when your whole life might change. I realize that if I can live through pain daily, I can do almost anything I set my mind to. So bring on law school, bring on independence. Bring on every single breakthrough. Everything I've accomplished would be impossible without Jack. My soulmate, my caregiver, here's a throwback. It's been a crazy five years, even though I know I'm just getting started on my journey. I can't wait to continue to fight for more accessibility and disability rights as an attorney.